Okay, let's talk about AI career path. AI is a really, really new domain in terms of、uh, career. You can argue previously there, like AI has been around for over fifty years, but AI wasn't really, really the mainstream in job market until recently. It was more like a, a branch of research in computer science, at least. Before twenty twenty ten, and now recently, I like especially recent few years, because of like breakthrough of deep learning, so a lot of companies are jumping on the bandwagon and start doing AI. So there are more and more job openings for AI, and also more people like are interested in data science. So you can see a lot of boot camp, a lot of university, they open up many many courses. To encourage people to learn more more about data science, and now AI is more mainstream,、uh, just the、uh, compared to pre it was why it was previously. Let's just、uh, break it down. There, I actually is by domain. The major, like the biggest domain in in data science, AI. I would say is machine learning, or maybe machine learning is a better better term. Machine learning is computer vision. Due to the nature of image, it's really, really the perfect fit for neural network, which is the most dominant branch of AI. So that people, uh, uh, like a computer vision, or you can call CV, really have a lot of breakthrough and also a lot of applications、um, in the real world. For example, of driving cars, you need to.、Uh, Apply a lot of、uh, computer vision techniques, or you can do a lot of like image classification, or like some other stuff. So many things that you can do with computer vision. So、uh, the major, like I would say, is probably after like over seventy percent of AI job markets are、uh, about this category, computer vision. And another category, it's also popular but much less popular. It's natural language process processing. It's natural language processing is basically the a domain that people process human languages.、Um, for example, English. If I'm saying something now, the natural language processing will analyze what I say and to maybe analyze my emotion, my sentiment, or my intent of this speech. The kind of things, and、um, you can apply that to spoken language. You can apply that to written languages. So that's like I would say the second most popular one, but it's like far from computer vision. You can also see this phenomena from the papers they publish every year. Really, really, over sixty, seventy percent of papers are about computer vision, and、uh, as for NLP, is probably like ten. Ten to fifteen percent. Okay, another domain is、um, po also popular is robotics. Robotics is、uh, where you use you use AI to control or to yeah basically to operate the the robots. It's robotics or like a robotic arm that can control, and it requires a lot of、uh, reinforcement learning. And this branch is also Also, like something, and people use this to do. You can say self-driving car is one of these related things, or like industrial robots,、uh, they kind of things. Okay, so this is、uh, robotics, and other another one I would say is、uh, speech recognition, auto automatic speech recognition.、Uh, it's also popular.、Uh, For example, if you're watching my video now, you will probably see there's a CC button on YouTube. If you click that, they will. Have it will show you the transcript, which is done by a, an ASR model.、Uh, that is just a trans transcribed by a machine learning model. So this can have a lot of、uh, applications as well. Because if you want to use NLP to analyze spoken language, you first of first of all you need to transcribe it. Then you can use NLP technique, natural language processing technique, to process the transcript. The transcript. Okay, so that's. Uh, ASR, and there are AS, ASR also improve a lot.、Uh, like during like the machine learning big revolution. So now, if you look at the state of the art English AS, ASR model, speech recognition model, it's 
almost as good as humans, or even better than humans, I would say. What? But still, this domain there's still a lot of things haven't done yet. For example, foreign accent. Uh, like I'm, I'm saying, um, I'm speaking English. English is not my first language, so some ASR model, if that's not good enough, they wouldn't be like transcribe my speech accurately. And also, there are more, many many different languages. So there's English is like a high resource language, so it's easily easier to do it. Better than the other languages, but if you are saying a lot of like other languages, even it's still a major language, but it's not English. Once you uh, go away from English, the resource is much less. So the, the ASR speech recognition accuracy is still not good enough. So there's still a lot of things to work on. So this domain is also popular. So these are a few popular domains in AI, and I just uh, talk about it by. Domain and as for how you can go about it, if you want to work on, let's say, computer vision domain, NLP domain, ASR robotics, that kind of things, maybe I will make a several videos to talk about that. And I'm not really sure if anyone's interested in these kind of videos, so I just make these to test uh, the water and see if oh, we really got a lot of feedback or anything, then I, I could make more. I'm more than happy to make it more. I have a, like, a lot of experience in AI, machine learning domain. So yeah, more than willing to share my experience. All right, so that's all for today. If you would like to receive more machine learning, AI, career, like information like these, or in, how you can go about it if you are a student if you are college students you you are a, a little bit unsure about the future i may make more videos about that so make sure you subscribe other than that i will see you